What would the female rap game do without Nicki Minaj? Sinking ship, huh? Nicki Minaj literally rebirthed the female rap game in December the 8th, 2023, when she dropped Pink Friday 2. You can agree to disagree. That's fine. I mean, we can look at the stats and see all the records that Pink Friday 2 broke. <laughs> we can see that. This isn't her first time doing so either, though. <laughs> that's also true T2. I'm really over all the rap girls that's not Nicki Minaj, honestly. I Spice. I don't know what she's doing outside of constantly recycling the same lyrics that she do in every song. Like, girl, we know you the shit. We know you miss poopy. Like, can we get something else? Like, don't give me the light. Okay, I do not want the light. <laughs> Only reason why I even supported you was simply because of Nicki Minaj. That's literally it. Because when Ice Spice first came out, girl, I was not a fan of her. Not even a lot of you. That's me being completely, totally honest. But once I seen her working with the queen, honey, I said, okay, we give her a chance. The queen's giving her a chance. I see what's up. And what's not up is clearly her fan base. Where's Ice Spice's fan base? Or is her fan base full of barbs? <laughs> Where's Sexy Red's fan base? Is her fan base full of barbs too? Hmm. I would say Nicki Minaj is probably covering at least a good 95% of the female rap market. So it's not far-fetched to think that other bars are not going to be fans of other female rappers. But what I don't like is the fact that for some reason, it feels like there's some type of written rule that says barbs are supposed to support these other girls just because they work with Nicki. No! Shout out to Keno Patia too, bitch. I know y'all know her. She made a very valid point, and it's a point that I have talked about, me and her both have talked about on her show. Why does it feel like that we are supposed to support these girls just because they work with Nikki? And when we decide to not support them anymore, we're looked at as the ones that's fake or phony. Well, honey, I'll be that. I don't have no problem being that, because at the end of the day, there's only one female rapper that I am a stand of, and bitch, her name is Nikki Minaj. It's been that way since 09. We're in 2024. Nothing has changed. And the love is continuously growing, elevating with her career. Because her career is constantly elevating. <laughs> and y'all hoes can't stand it. But that ass still sitting though. Ah! <laughs> None of these hoes are exciting. Honestly and truly, if we're being honest, none of these girls in the female rap outside of Nicki Minaj are exciting. They're not. There's no longevity in Sexy Red. Megan Thee Stallion, her career is pretty much over too. She comes with the same thing over and over and over and over. And over. Like, girl, like, give us, like, yes, girl, give us nothing. It gave nothing, bitch. Thank you for zero next. And we not even gonna mention Cardi B, bitch. That's another bitch that now that bitch career is done. Okay, as I think, every, I think everybody knows her career is done. Okay, <laughs> nobody's checking for a bitch that can't even rap, honey. Ain't nobody checking for a bitch that be spitting on the mic. And I ain't talking about the fighter. <laughs> nobody's checking for her. Not even her own husband because he can't seem to keep his dick in his pants just for her. Girl, please. Only time anybody mentions Megan Thee Stallion is whenever they're talking about her and Tory Lanez. And now, of course, Nicki Minaj with Bigfoot. She should be thanking Nicki Minaj for dropping Bigfoot, actually. She should really be kissing her feet. She purposely did her a favor. If I don't want to support these girls simply because they're boring, I'm going to do exactly that and not support them. That's fine. They have their fan base. Let them get their own fan base. Why do y'all get mad because Barb's have opinions on other girls and we don't support the other girls? Why does that make y'all upset? That shouldn't make y'all upset. If it has nothing to do with Nicki Minaj, why do you care if Barb's are interested or not? You shouldn't care. You shouldn't care. And another thing too, I feel like if Ice Spice is really a real bitch, because this is the same girl that was sitting on spaces with fake Barb's, 
talking about a fake beef with Lotto. If you have time to sit on a spaces and do that to hype your career, because that's what that entire beef was with her and Lotto, quote unquote beef. That's all it was to hype each other's career. And I don't think you did nothing for neither one of them because <laughs> nobody really paid attention to it. But my thing is, if you can get on spaces and do that, you could definitely get on Instagram Live or Spaces and clear up what Miss Stormy was saying. But it seems like what Stormy was saying was true about the shit that she was talking. Hmm. De De Lo Mio Hex, honey, is hitting. I see why you saying give me the light because the light is slowly moving from you. Unfortunately. It was nice while it lasted, though. It was nice while it lasted. Same for Sexy Red. It was nice while it lasted, you know? But at the end of the day, Nicki Minaj is the motherfucking queen, bitch. And I'ma move with the motherfucking queen, bitch. No shade. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. And that's fine. You ain't gotta like it. You're not me. I'm not you. Okay? You like who you like, and I'ma like who I like. Simple as that. It don't get no simpler than that. The girls are not doing it. The girls are not doing it. Like, what the fuck is this shit that's being released? Like, ugh. But good luck to the girls. You know what I'm saying? Good luck to them and their fans. Good luck to y'all. Because just, just stop looking at Barb. Stop questioning Barb's when we have opinions on these other hoes. Stop questioning us. Because we have the right to voice our opinions just like y'all have the right to voice y'all opinion about Nicki Minaj. Whether we like it or we don't. It goes both ways, baby. But y'all can't seem to take when we throw that shit right back. But y'all think y'all can just throw it on us and expect us not to say anything and clock it. But bitch, we do clock it. And we throw it right back and y'all can't take. Oh, I love that. I love doing what I do. Because I know there are people out there that cannot simply take. Oh. And shout out to Nicki Minaj for selling out every single show that was in the United States of America on the Pink Friday 2 tour. Y'all had a lot to say about the Pink Friday 2 tour, honey, and it is breaking record after record. Okay? Y'all don't want to talk about the truths when it comes to her. Y'all like to take these false narratives, but I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'ma always clock the shit. And I'ma always tell the real tea. Man, y'all know this bitch is whack. Y'all gonna tell her or not. I'm here to tell y'all these hoes whack. Don't waste your time. If it ain't Nicki Minaj, honey, you're wasting your time. You're not gonna be entertained. It's not gonna be anything interesting. <laughs> Girl, what? Hey, y'all gagging over this? Like, this ain't even nothing to gag over. Like, but I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Kylie keep your anime just stumble to the car. <laughs> it was a bar in every single line on Bigfoot, and y'all know it. Y'all know Bigfoot ate that shit up. Bigfoot broke history with that too. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, the legend, icon that you are. And I'm going to always give you your motherfucking flowers, bitch. Okay? And I don't give a fuck when nobody else say. You can call me crazy, demented, delusional. That's fine. I know the truth. You don't. I do. And I'm going to stand in that shit. Period. Thank you guys so much for always tuning in to me. Thank you for just engaging with me. Girl, I love y'all so much for that. Like, ah. So you guys should let me know down in the comments below. Did y'all like the new songs that were released today? Or were they all a chop? In my opinion, bitch, they're all a chop. Period. That's just that. <laughs> Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button over here. And honey, don't forget to go over to camdeontalks.com, which is my website. I have my blog page there. And I also upload my YouTube videos there in case you miss the upload here, honey, you can catch it over there on camdeontalks.com. But if you subscribe, honey, here, you won't miss it, baby. You won't miss it. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, honey, okay? Thank you. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy Friday.